Welcome to Tableau Certified Associate Consultant Exam Prep. This prep series is going to provide you with a great opportunity to test your overall knowledge of various Tableau products. It's also going to assist you in identifying any knowledge gaps while helping you focus on specific areas and domains. I wrote this exam in September and not surprisingly, I saw a lot of overlapping concepts between this exam and the Tableau Certified Data Analyst Certification. So if you recently passed the Certified Data Analyst exam, that knowledge and preparation will definitely increase your chances of getting a passing score on this exam. So in this video, I'm going to give you a general overview of the exam, and then we'll actually dive into each domain and walk through different types of practice questions to help you guys get a feel for what the real exam is like. Very similar to what I've done in the past for the Tableau Certified Data Analyst exam prep series. So I'll be following the official exam guide and highlighting specific subsections that you guys will need to focus on. This exam consists of five main domains. So starting next week, I'll be posting study material related to domain one, which is going to test your ability to make good recommendations with respect to analytics delivery methods, where I'll describe a specific use case and then ask you to suggest appropriate roles and products. Please note that this certification exam is geared towards verified Tableau partners who have at least six to 12 months of hands-on experience. The exam is going to test your ability to identify customer needs and provide guidance in analyzing business questions. It's also going to test your knowledge on how to build and present data using business intelligence and visualization best practices. All right, so let's move on and take a look at the exam structure and domain breakdown. You will be given a total of 90 minutes to complete 55 questions in this exam. Keep in mind that there is no practical section on the exam, so you will only see multiple choice and multiple response type of questions. The passing score is 750 out of 1000 or 75%, and the cost of the exam is 250 US dollars. It's a closed book exam, which means that you cannot use the internet or open Tableau to answer any questions. Now, this is important to keep in mind because you will be required to know the use and syntax of different functions. And this can be tricky if you simply can't open up the calculation editor and look up those functions. Now, if you're the type of individual who has more of a theoretical knowledge of the platform and you study diligently, or you have only worked with Tableau desktop, then I don't recommend you taking this exam because you will end up wasting your time and money. So what I would suggest instead is to follow the learning path, getting your hands dirty, building up that confidence using the software, and then you can give it a shot. But don't jump from writing your Tableau desktop specialist certification to associate consultant, because ultimately the goal is to actually learn a tool, not just earn another badge. Looking at our test domains, we can see that domain one accounts for only 6% of the overall exam content, which means that you're only going to see three to four questions max for this particular section. Domains two and three account for 25% and 23% respectively. So half of the questions that you're going to see on the exam are going to come from these two domains. Domain four accounts for 38% of the overall exam, which means that this is a domain that you want to focus on. This is going to be the most challenging domain because you will see a lot of different calculations and you will be tested on the syntax and the use of different functions. Domain five accounts for only 8% of the overall exam content. So I won't worry about this domain too much. Just make sure you focus on domains two, three, and four. If you have working knowledge and experience with the Tableau platform, you shouldn't have any problems passing the exam, especially if you have your data analyst certification and you do a proper review of all the domains. So that is it for the exam overview. Let's dive in and take a look at some practice questions. 